You cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mythal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Alvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Daprin's. That can't be easy, Blar. It was so... mundane. Nothing grand or cosmic. No setting fire to the sun, just talking, politics. I wish they were monsters. Something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than to venture nobles. But no worse, either. They were people, and people can let you down. All right. What else can we take from this memory? Elgrinon was hungry for power. Did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgonon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgonon over him. A betrayal. It sounded like Solus was loyal to Mithal. What did Elkanon call him? Mythal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elkanon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elkanon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regret. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. The fall of Weishaupt reverberated across the Fade, as did the fall of an Archdemon. But unless I am mistaken, both Elganan and Gilanane yet stand. We took down Gilanane's Archdemon, but we weren't able to kill her. And how are you doing? Right now, I'm more concerned with how the team is doing. I expect their morale is shaken after what happened. They have what it takes to stop the gods. I just need to get them to believe it. Indeed. They must know beyond any doubt that you believe in them. You cannot stand against Elganan and Gilanane with logic. 
Those motivated by greed or self-interest will change alliances, but those who serve you with passion and loyalty will follow wherever you lead, even to their deaths if necessary. I knew I might have to make a call like that when Varric put me in charge. A good leader never makes such a decision lightly. But when the time comes, it is better to be prepared. And perhaps it will not come to that. The stronger your team, the more chances you will have to avoid such a decision. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any suggestions on our next move against the gods? If you oppose Elganan and Gilanane's minions, you will get your opportunity. You think one of the Antarm or Venatori commanders will help us find the gods? Possibly. But more importantly, you will aggravate them. You rendered Gilanane mortal at Weishaupt. It is an embarrassment, an insult. Neither she nor Elganan can ignore. If you continue to disrupt their plans, you will not need to track them down. They will come to you. You think I can goad the gods into making a mistake? I have absolute faith in your ability to aggravate enemies who should know better than to underestimate you. One final warning. You have survived a confrontation with Gilanane, which few still live to claim. But her power pales in comparison to Elganan's. If he takes the field himself, remember. In a fight such as ours, escaping to fight another day is a victory. Davrin? Davrin, about Weishaupt. Just wanted to make sure you're okay after... I wouldn't say that, no. That's Rinald. Malmond. Anya. We used to argue. Who would be the one to take an archdemon down? Who would die so that others could live? Not sure any of us believed it had actually happened. When the moment came, you did the Wardens proud. Did I? Because I'm still here. They're not. This whole mess is my battle more than anyone else's. I should have died before they did. Can't help but wonder. Maybe a warden who survives an archdemon is no warden at all. It's in your blood. Our blood. No escaping it. But we just did. Who knows what happened? Maybe the gods change things and the old rules don't apply. Why is being alive a problem? Because I didn't expect to be here. Grey Wardens have an expiration. It pushed me. There's more fight to go. And if we manage to pull that off? You'll do what you do best. Hunt monsters. Plenty of people can do that. I'm talking purpose. I feel like a blade sharpened all these years to confront the worst darkness in the world. And my blade struck true at Weishaupt. What now? Well, you'll raise a sun to create a world where the light outshines the darkness. Yeah? Well, let me tell you. That... will require a lot more ginger wart truffles. <laughs> huh. I'd some more like it. Good to have you back. Somebody has to feed his feathery butt. You live to serve, my friend. Guess we're stuck with each other, boy. No getting rid of me now. Someday I might actually know what that means. While you sort that out, maybe you and Lacanis can try to bury the hatchet. Yeah. He had a rough time of it, too. I know. That was an incredible shot he took at Gillanane. Then tell him that. Because fighting each other won't help us defeat the gods. But we've got help. The Wardens, Shadow Dragons, Crows, Veil Jumpers. We're all in this together. We are. But they've all got their own problems. 
If we want their help, we have to help them first. Is that a plan I hear forming? I think it could be. Thanks, Daverin. Lacanis? Are you in here brooding? I'm fine. That's not a no. I had her. She should have never gotten away from me. This was our contract, Rook. I don't fail my contracts. Just think how much more satisfying it'll be when you do take her down. We cannot count on a second shot. I thought I still had this. Even with Treviso suffering, I thought I could still focus on what mattered. I need to work. Gelenane was a giant face in the clouds, Lucanis. I asked you to stab a cloud. And I missed the damn cloud. My point is, that was impossible and you still almost did it. That's not small. <sighs> I was distracted. That cannot happen again. I need to get my head on straight. Whatever you need to do. Have you been to talk to the others? Davrin, especially. I think everyone might have things to deal with now. It's been too long since I checked in with Viago. I should find out if things in Treviso are stable. If I need to return there, I'll let you know. I won't miss another chance to make things right. I cannot say. Who created you? I cannot say. What can you say? I cannot say. Right. Deserve that. Got the Archive spirit working, I see. Rook, you're here. And I did, sort of, a little bit. It appears, but it won't tell me anything. You simply ask the wrong questions. A common affliction of the weak-minded. Also that, it's kind of mean. Just insult it right back. Assuming you know how to insult a spirit. I've never thought about it. H how would you do that? Emmerich might know. Hmm, that is an idea. Sirian learned a lot, taught me a lot about these archives. They have, well, not thoughts like us, but sort of pathways, I guess. They can only respond to specific questions worded in specific ways. So, if you're powerful, like almost God-level powerful, how would you talk to someone you see as lesser? Really condescendingly, based on experience so far. Right! You wouldn't ask questions, you'd tell them what to do, so let's try that. Archive, tell me who built you. One of the greatest of Elvenan, a steward of her glory. Truly, I was blessed to bathe in his warmth. Anaris built me, and to him I shall someday return. You mean... The Forgotten One? I cannot say. Good point. It came later. What or who is a Forgotten One? The Bad Gods, or so we were taught, told never to speak their names. Elgrinon, Gilanane, they were the good ones that you could pray to. But now we know the truth about the Evanuris, so we don't know for sure. What the Forgotten Ones were, I mean. They used to say Solus was one, so best case scenario, like him? Worst case, well, you heard it talk. Right. So this thing's dangerous if it belonged to one of them. Could be, but still important and invaluable. Everything Anaris knew, this thing knows, and my people deserve to know. If I can get it to tell me... Archive, tell me about the Dreadwolf. An ideologue and a fool who will soon pay the price. When Anaris dispatches the Evanuris, he will spare a thought for Fen Harel. Archive, tell me about the Evanuris. A group of cowards hiding behind their more powerful magic and superior numbers. 
Their jealousy of Anaris was palpable. Their war is unending. But Anaris will prevail. You have a chance to learn more about your people. Go for it. Just be careful. And try not to break anything. Right. Thanks, Rook. All thanks must be given to Anaris. For he will cast down the oppressive Evanuris and take his rightful place. What a shame I can't stay longer. Good luck. Appreciate the support. Nev, that coffee in the kitchen. You made it? Keen eye. Did you boil it? If so, why? I'm not picky. I got a cup and it does the job. That's all I ask. I don't know where to go with this. Maybe that's how it's done him in Rathus. Oh no. Give Lucanus credit. It's terrible. You need a stronger word for terrible. So what's the coffee for? I've been looking into the threads. That mean Rathus crime syndicate? Yeah. Smuggling, extortion, protection rackets. The threads have fingers in the lot. They stay out of slavery and they're decent about the rest, but something stirred them up. They've increased activity, changed their patterns. Doc Town's in chaos. Remember Alec? The thread selling charms. He wants to talk and he doesn't reach out for nothing. Sounds fun. You've got strange taste in fun. So do you. Bad habit. Ready when you are. Though maybe Lacanis should make the coffee. Probably helps your odds of survival. Bianco should taste this. Only thing worse than snake venom. <laughs> 